Hey guys, I am back with part two of the Tokyo Pen Shop haul slash unboxing. And I am so excited because let me just tell you, I'm in love with everything I purchased in part one. I have favorites and I'm actually going to show you how I do my testing um, for pens and things in a different video and how I find out like what works for me, what doesn't, because as we all know, we are all very different. And so some of the things that I thought were going to work one way, I actually used as a different way. So as you saw with my Loistrom journal, like we're all different. We all have our own opinions. So I can't wait to share mine with you. But today is all about box number two. And this one, I have no idea what's inside because I chose to go with the stationary kit. Now, Tokyo Pen Shop has two surprise kits. One of them is the stationary kit and one of them is called a character kit. I debated which one to get, but I went with the stationary kit mainly because I don't have certain like favorite characters. Um, I actually don't know a whole lot of characters in regards to like specifically the Japanese characters. Um, as a child, I did love Sanrio's The Shop. So some of the items like the new highlighters do pique my interest because it does bring back that childhood memory of walking through the shop, but I was never a Hello Kitty fan. Um, Winnie the Pooh, love Winnie the Pooh, but bright colors are not really my thing as you saw with the specific inks that I ordered with my last, um, in my last haul, which are mainly browns and blue blacks and blue grays and the Bordeaux black. I love those earthy tones. So even though I love some of the Disney princesses, I'm not necessarily going to travel to Italy and use my Dins use Disney princess or character items. So the stationary kit seemed to be something that was more my style because it is more not plain, but I don't know. I don't know how to put it. Like it's more me. Let me just say that it's more me. So I'm just now realizing that I probably should have brought a knife up here. You would think that because I've been doing these videos for this long and I rarely have a knife up here that I would actually learn my lesson. I used to have a wine opener up here, but that got moved because I took it with me on a vacation. So we're going to see if I can peel this and dive in without having to pause it and get a knife. I'm also realizing I should probably have a notebook or something to scribble on, but maybe there's one inside. You never know. Okay. I think this might work. We're going to actually, just so I don't have to be careful about this. And yeah, this may be irritating to hear all the sound, but I actually like, and I think I mentioned this in a different video, I'm one who doesn't mind the crinkling sounds. So yeah, I just, I don't mind them. And I'm sorry if you do. All right, so I'm just gonna make sure my address, you know what, maybe here's what I should do. I do, I do have a Sharpie. So we're just gonna, that way I don't have to be careful here with my address. I have a Sharpie and a glue stick in my desk, but no knife. Okay, let's open her up. Okay, I'm so excited. Okay, once again, we have the invoice. Okay, so it is called the Surprise Signature Stationery Set. And this is number six because they, once they're gone, they're gone. Like they only do a certain number of them, I believe. Um, so this is number six. Yay! And I get a sticker, another sticker, and another haichu because as I mentioned in my last video, every order that you place, 
you get a sticker and hide you. So that's super exciting. Okay. It comes with, and this may, I might should put like a little disclaimer. Let me see if I can move this camera because I feel like it's a little far away. Um, so it comes with a sheet that has everything that is in the box on it. I'm actually not going to look at it right this moment because I do want to be somewhat surprised, but I will pull an item out and look it up and read to you what it says. Okay. I love their packaging. So here it is. Here's my, here's all of my goodies. I'm going to throw the box down there. Love how they do their packaging. Ooh, I can already see some fun stickers. So with this kit on the description, um, it says that you will get a variety of different pieces that are specific to stationery. So, and I think this one, this one, I think they mentioned that one item wasn't necessarily stationary, but it fit with the um, Japanese theme. And they try to do like new release items, limited items. So let's see if it tells, I think it was third, it's $35 for this kit in case you guys were wondering. And for me who I'm very new to the world of Japanese pens, this was, this seemed perfect because they wouldn't necessarily be things that I would pick for myself. And I'm always open to suggestions and ideas. So we're going to dive in. I love the washi that they put on this. It's the same washi that was on my other package and washi can always be reused. So we are going to save a couple of these because you guys know how much I love adding things to my passion planner and my journal. So we are going to throw those down and okay. Yay. I can already see things that I don't have that I'm excited about. So I'm going to try to lift this up without dropping it. Lots of goodies there. First off, I see that there is a friction fine liner, which you guys know, if you saw my last um, video, I purchased the fiction friction fine liner in violet. This one looks like it is red. I don't know the actual, let me read it. So I'm trying to guess all these colors. This is the new pilot friction fine liner. Pilot keeps expanding its friction lineup, which I love. You guys know that I love friction, the whole friction line. The latest creation is the Friction Fine Liner. Friction ink is a thermal ink that can disappear in really high temperatures. Do not use this ink on important documents. If your ink disappears, you can try reviving it by putting your paper in the freezer. How cool is that? And it's erasable. Look at the eraser. This is the eraser. Okay, so what I'm gonna do is I'm going to um, write a little something here. This is my Instagram, Hello Blank page. You can follow me on Instagram if you are not. You should be because I talk about wild, sexy marriage and journaling and planning and all the things. Um, so there's that. And then with friction, without taking much, you can see I just erased part of that. I'll erase the whole thing. Maybe I shouldn't erase the whole thing. Maybe I should just do there you go it's clean it's amazing i love the friction line as i've mentioned okay so that is the first item in this goodie thing oh my goodness okay i'm getting so excited all right this next thing i'm picking up is super adorable um it says green flash so let's look this up and see what it says on here because i have no idea what this pen is Oh, it also looks like there's something else from this company on here. This is the Green Flash Night to Peer. I don't know if I'm saying these things right. Green Flash Night to Peer Pen, a beautiful fine tipped ballpoint pen in night to peer design. It's got this really cute character on it. 
And see, I love this because it's not specific to a movie or, you know, I, I like it. And it's sleek. And it's gold and black. It's just so pretty. Okay, let me scribble something. Just to see. Ooh, I like how it writes. I love gel, but I also do love ballpoint. Hello, Bling Page. It doesn't tell me like the, let's see what else. It is Bic Clip, is it Bic Clip? Bic Clip. Green flash, nice to get a pen. So awesome. I'm gonna throw that in my purse and carry it around with me. Okay, next is another pen, which I'm so excited about because it looks like it's a multi. What is this? Uniball Mitsubishi Uniball RE3. This erasable Uniball RE3 is a multi-pen featuring ink that competes. Ooh, wow, okay that competes with Pilot Frictions ink. This is gonna be interesting because I am a diehard Pilot Friction fan. Mitsubishi Uni has created a cool twist and click feature for this pen. To extract the color of your choice, you must first twist to choose your color, then you click the top of the pen to extract your ink. Wow. This is reversed when you want to retract your ink for changing colors or when you want to store your pen away. RE3 ink is a thermal ink that does disappear in really high temperatures. Once again, do not use this ink on important documents. If your ink disappears, you can put the paper in the freezer. Okay. So, Uniball RE3 0.5. And there's the eraser. The eraser has a cap. Oh my gosh. I can already tell that I'm going to love this. It looks like there are three ink colors because it's got a blue, black, and little red square right there. Okay, and we are going to click it and peel off the little protector thingy. If you guys know what the actual term for that is or if there's an actual term for that, let me know. I do like that it's somewhat clear so I can tell what color is up. So it looks like this is black. So we are going to write, see if I can get the ink to come up, uni, RE3, black, and I'm assuming that this is 0.5. Now with most erasable inks, as you can see, this is the, this is the um, uni RE3. This is the ballpoint pen. Most of the inks in the erasable line are going to be lighter than say your gel pen or ballpoint pens. Um, let's see if I have one in here. I do not actually. Um, so it's gonna be more of a gray black in my, per in my opinion. That's what, how I think of it. Uh, so, so it's gonna be lighter. Once again, let me just show you. It erases. It erases well. I just erased the black. All right. We are going to go ahead and click. Oh, now that's cool. I like that it shows you. Now look here. I just noticed this. So you can tell it's on black. Now it's on red. And then you go back to blue. Actually appears like you can go all the way around. Interesting. All right, we're gonna push out the blue. Take off the protector thingy and get this baby working. Uniball RE 3.5 blue. And now everybody gets to see my messy handwriting right there and we're gonna erase let's erase again 
the scribbles. I like it so far. I still would say, personally, that my favorite is still a friction, but that's just because I am a diehard friction line fan. So after using it, I will be able to give an accurate, a better description um, after playing with them. And I will compare the two because I have all the colors of the friction. This is the Uni RE 3.5 red. Did I put red? Yes. All right. That is super cool. I love all multi pens and I, I do love how thin this is because I have the friction, the friction multi five, five, four. I have the four or the five in the champagne color and it is, it is a thicker pen. So I don't actually have an erasable. This is the three. And so I do like that it's thinner. All right. So those are, okay. You know, let me see what else we got here. Okay. So next up is a really cute paleontology pack of post-its. Green flash paleontology page flags. These adorable page flags are perfect for flagging your attention in your paperwork or books. If you are not a dinosaur fan, but who isn't? Then these page flags would be happy to find a home with your favorite studious friend or relative. I actually kind of like the dinosaur thing, especially since I'm kind of sort of a Jurassic Parks fan. Not that I would buy Jurassic Park pens or anything like that, but um, for marking books and things, I think it's awesome. And I think my son might even enjoy them too. So those are super adorable. Okay, moving on. Next, I have a... Uh, okay. Sun Star Sakura, I'm assuming that's what this is. It is in Japanese. Yes, Sun Star Sakura standing to do pad. It's the time of year, all the cute Sakura cherry blossom goods come out in Japan. Our best selling to do pad is paired here with a limited edition Sakura cover. I don't know if I'm saying that correctly. Just FYI, Sakura, Sakura. That is pretty cool. Isn't it gorgeous? It is so pretty. And then you've got these different little tabs, which I think is super cute. And it'd be perfect for making a grocery list or this says to do at the top. Actually it has check and it has boxes and then level. Okay, so they, and they all say that. And they're just so pretty. Um, if you've been following my Instagram occasionally, something that I love to do is to leave little love notes in different places. And I think this would be perfect to carry in my purse and do little love notes. It's also super convenient because you can like sit it at your desk. That's super cute. Okay. Moving on. Oh my goodness. This is beautiful. What is this called? Where is it? Oh, Green Flash Geology Slim Notebook. This compact notebook has a beautiful cover and plenty of high quality Japanese paper for taking notes. It's a great size for slipping in your purse or back pocket. I'm gonna take the plastic off so you guys can see it better. But it has gemstones. Look at that, it has gemstones. And a, a hard, not hard, but a plastic cover with the drawing on the next side and it's graph paper. Okay. So this one, it says mineralogy and it's got citrine and watermelon tourmaline and ruby, green tourmaline, amethyst, aquamarine, <sighs> so many beautiful crystals and I've got crystals everywhere. I've got some under here. I'm gonna end up like getting out of the. Here's a citrine. Just so you guys know, I'm a little bit of a gem nerd. I think I've actually got another citrine in my candle here. Citrine sitting in my candle. Yeah, love all the gems. And 
Okay, let me show you this gorgeous paper. I don't know if the camera is actually going to be able to pick it up, but it is graph paper with it says study holic on the bottom corner with a pen. It is so cute. Do you guys see that? Okay, I love I love this. This is like a stationary fans like dream. Okay. Last item is the green flash stationary handkerchief. I take a bit of a risk introducing you to one of my favorite Japanese items, the super soft Japanese washcloth. This Japanese washcloth has an adorable stationary theme. So we felt it was perfect for our stationary loving customers. You can use this as either a washcloth or as a handkerchief that you carry around in your bag. Oh, it's so pretty. It is from, it says Chobit Wit, the little tag. Isn't that like so perfect? Scissors, stapler, notepads, tape, pens and pencils, a ruler, clips, adorable. Okay. I don't know what I'm going to use it as. I don't really want to use it as a washcloth because I feel like, I feel like it would get messed up and the backside is so soft. Maybe I'll use it as a face cloth. I don't know what I'm going to use it as, but I'm definitely going to use it. Okay, guys, that is signature stationery set number six. And I'm very pleased. I am <clears throat> excited to get another fine liner because I only ordered one and I did not order the red. So I'm excited about that. I'm even excited. Ex I'm just, I'm excited about all the things. All right, I'm gonna go so I can talk to my son about the dinosaurs and I can put this in my bag. Yeah, I'm, I'm in trouble. I'm in trouble, guys. I love this company. And Kimberly continues to post the new items that they put up on the website, on her Instagram. If you guys are not following her, you can find her at, what is her handle? I believe it's Tokyo Pen Shop Girl. Maybe I'll figure that out and put the link below. But she's, she posts like the new items that she lists. And every time she posts something, I'm just like, oh my goodness, I'm in trouble. Because it's just, they're all amazing. All right, guys, thank you for watching. And check the website out. Let me know if you decide to purchase anything, what you purchased, what called to you and how you like it. Um, as you guys know, I love all the stationery, all the pens, all of that world. So I'd be glad to hear and to add a new thing to my wish list. All right. Until next time.